This tutorial shows the correct mounting of the SES, SEM, 70 and 90. Before we start with mounting the motor feedback system, the motor flange must be prepared according to the mechanical mounting suggestion. You will find it in the online available product information. First of all, the motor feedback system is pushed onto the motor shaft. Therefore, the rotor is pressed carefully down by using four pressure points until it contacts the flange. Please make sure that the centering color of the motor feedback system does not snap into the centering color of the motor flange. To ensure a connection between the motor feedback system and the motor shaft, the screws of the hollow shaft clamp must be tightened. They are fixed by an allen key with a 2mm width. It is important to tighten the screws in the defined sequence 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Afterwards, the screws need to be retightened in a reverse order with the defined tightening torque of 0.7 Nm. Subsequently, the housing is turned until a click confirms that the device snapped completely in the centering color. To fix the housing, three cylinder head bolts with a minimum braking strength of 8.8 .8 are needed. The screw length must be selected according to the mounting conditions. The tightening torque for the screws has to be taken from the operating instructions because they are depending on the size of the motor feedback system. To complete the electrical installation, the cover must be dismantled with a TX8 Torx tool. While de-energized, insert a male connector for the set of standard wires into the female connector on the encoder. Insert the cable into the strain relief and close the cover with a tightening torque of 0.2 Nm. To start operate, the motor feedback system must be wired to the motor as well to the earth protection. Please note the pin assignments of the device. After that, the mounting is done and the motor feedback system is ready to read reliable speed and position.